do that? I don't believe anything you say. You lied to your husband for months. You've got to believe me. You're my parents. And despite what you did, I still love you. Well, why did the police come and take your mother away then? And in front of all our neighbours? Someone else must have told them. Oh, you're just trying to pass the blame like you always do. Your mother just wanted to help. She was going to take me to Pakistan. And you were going to let her. It was for your own good. No, it wasn't. It was for you, to save face in the community. Well, it's too late for that, isn't it? What you have done has destroyed our family and ruined our reputation. I wish you'd never been born. Rana, you all right? I want to worry you. What's happened? I want to know why he called the police and had our mum arrested. I'm looking for Rana. Oh, she's in with Zidane. She is going ballistic. Apparently, he's rang the police on her mum and had her arrested. Her brothers had to go down to the station to sort it all out. It's great work in here. Don't lie to me, Z. You said you should be in prison. Short, short, short. Yeah, and I still think she should. She's my mum! How could you even think I'd do that? I know how you feel about it. But who else is so desperate to hurt me? You're pathetic. Look, you're out of order now. After everything you've done to me, don't talk to me like that. It's not a good time, kid. Well, it's a great time. You can get her out of here. I'm not going anywhere until you admit you call the police on my mum. For the last time, I didn't do it. You liar! Stop, Brownie. He's not lying. What? How do you know? Because it was me. I called the police. I was trying to keep you safe. You were scared. My mom is sat in a police cell right now. How scared do you think she is? I'm sorry. Rana, please. I was trying to do what was best. I was trying to make sure they didn't try anything else. I wanted to protect you. Stop it. I don't want to see you right now. I am so sorry, Z. Oh, you were upset. How can she do that? She knows my family hate me enough already. Well, you'll be fine. It'll work out. Uh, what's happened? It's my mum. She's been arrested. I need to go to the police station and try and put this right. Uh, I'll come with you. You can't do that. It's your opening. I'll be fine. I am so sorry. OK, mate. Never been better. Oh, you guys all right? What happened? She's given a statement. So you told them what they did? I couldn't. So what did you say? I told them there's nowhere to stand up in court and testify against my own mum. I know you don't agree. But do you know what? I'd have done the same if it was my mum. I don't want to apologise properly for accusing you. I should have known you wouldn't do that. It's forgotten. Thank you. And I'd like to help out if you'll have me. We can manage. I really want to. Um. Yeah, you can start on the washing up if you want. There's piles of it and the dishwasher's still playing up. <laughs> you cooking and me doing the dishes. So things never change. Hey, I'm really glad you came back. So you can get some free labour? No. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. I think you should quit your job at the medical centre and work here full time. What? Well, washing up, you're really good at it. Oh, you think you're so funny. And you look great in marigolds. Yeah, well, you look good. So funny. Hey! Hey, just to do me, Hey. I've been ringing you. Yeah, well, I've been a bit busy at the police station. What happened? I told me it was you who made the call, and that it was a mistake, and that I don't want anything to happen to my mum. I'm sorry. I just wanted to listen to yourself. I wanted. It's all about you. What about me and what I want and what I need? You knew I was missing them and then you went and did this. I just thought it was the right thing to do. I trusted you. But if you did this behind my back, what else might you do? That's not fair. Whether it's fair or not, that's how I feel. Just go. 